joining us. This is our uh, third shop talk, as we call it. You know, it's a little bit of a different type of, of event, and uh, we like to kind of say it's kind of a little bit of a deep dive or under the covers. We pick a specific topic. As you know, we did a, a couple of them. I know that you've been to some of them. Uh, last year on uh, you know the whole adaptive infrastructure next generation data center program and here we're going to actually pick one of the elements of that program virtualization and, uh, and, and talk through that you know and you could ask well, why virtualization I think you know we all hear about it. it's kind of a hot topic it's not just a hot topic in terms of uh, messaging or, or, or uh, you know but I think it's all it's really important we see it in our customers and I think that's why we're here in terms of customers really starting to deploy a virtualization in their environment in fact, uh, IDC published in December their top 10 uh, key um, trends for uh, um, infrastructure software. And uh, out of the, so virtualization was not one trend, it was actually five of the top trends was around virtualization. So wow. you say, okay, there must be something going on around, <laughs> around virtualization. Um, from an HP perspective, and you'll hear a little bit about it uh, later on, I mean, it's certainly an area we you know, have been investing a lot, have deli been delivering a number of solutions around virtualization. It's a very important part of our portfolio. And uh, what, we, uh, what we'd like to do here today, we do not just talk about technology and a product that's one small piece, if you would, but really spend more time on, you know, how customers are using virtualization, the implementation, questions, the benefits, the issues, what works, what doesn't work. And you know, we're very pleased to have uh, two of our customers with us today, as well as Michelle Bailey from IDC. So what I'll do actually now is introduce the team who's going to be doing most of the work this afternoon. I'll start with the um, HP folks. So Nick Vandersweep uh, is a director of virtualization. So you can't find a better person here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any questions, ask him. Busy these days. Okay. Exactly. Rich Friedrich here is a director of uh, systems and software at HP Labs. Uh, so we're really looking more in the future, so we'll talk a little bit about some of the investments we're doing with the evolution of what we see as the next steps around virtualization. Michelle Bailey, from as Vice President at IDC on uh, Data Center and uh, Systems Technology. Um, talk about and spend some time about uh, the industry, the market. Um, Phil, Philip Borneman uh, from the city of Charlotte, North Carolina, one of our customers, talk about uh, their his experience. And uh, Tom, I don't know last name here, Tom Grayheck. About that, from Fair Isaac Corporation, uh, as well, one of our customers, user of virtualization, will uh, share their experience. Okay, so that's the, the panel that we have assembled here. The agenda, uh, just a quick, you can see it here quickly. I'll do a quick intro, get into the meat to it in terms of you know solutions, what we deliver, what we provide, uh, both today and future from Rich and Labs. And then Michelle from IDC will talk about industry trends, and we'll really get into the uh, case studies or customer experiences with. Uh, Philip and Tom uh, conclude, and then we left some time at the end here. Uh, certainly, we'll have Q and A throughout the session, but also do a couple of demonstrations. If you want to get do a little bit of hands-on, you know, on our virtual uh, via virtual server environment and then virtualization on our ProLiant and, and Blade system. So we have a little bit of mix here of practical use cases and uh, a little bit of technology. Okay, and hopefully we should be done by three uh, in terms of the formal part, if you want, of the session. <coughs> okay, so. Any logistics, anything, everything okay? Okay, great. So I'll just kind of kick it off a little bit, and what I'll do is kind of start a little bit higher. My, my, my role at HP actually is to lead the Adaptive Infrastructure Initiative, and really what that is, it's an initiative that pulls together um, in, in the enterprise uh, solutions business for HP, the systems, the software, and the services, and the whole focus is to help our customers evolve, transform their IT infrastructure towards a quote-unquote next generation data center. Okay, so it's really kind of that, how do we help our customers on that, on that evolution? So starting really from the business drivers, you know, what we hear, and I'm sure you hear all the time, you know, customers, what they're trying to do, and there's a one side of it, which is really always reducing costs, and it's always somewhere around there. Maybe it's not the first one, but it's often a big, big driver. And that gets into, sim you know, simplifying the environment, standardizing it. I mean, how do we, we need to get our handle around this whole IT infrastructure. It's got to be too complex. So, you know, definitely a cost simplification angle. The second driver we, we see often is around speed. It's about you know, accelerating speed of change, and being, uh, setting up IT to be able to be more responsive. Business changes really quickly, so how, did I, how can we set up IT to be faster? And we hear about uh, uh, organizations that take weeks um, to provision a new server, to, to 
to meet new demands, but that's just not acceptable to, 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 to run the business. So clearly that whole speed of change is another big driver. And then the last one is really around quality of service and delivering and quality of service, because it's you can't go reduce cost and increase speed and, and, and you know and drop all your quality of service. There's in fact more and more uh, you know requirements on IT to deliver better quality of service or more expanded quality of service. It's not just about 24 by 7. It's also about you know you've got the security you know in terms of compliance. A lot more uh, factors there. Uh, how do you support users? You know user satisfaction, all those kind of things. So it's really those three angles. We always go back to cost, speed, and quality. Three big drivers that that um, really are getting customers to you know to think about what do we need to do differently. Gervais Restaurant, authentic French cuisine in Silicon Valley.